A uh, very warm welcome to Nathan yeah. Phillips. Thank you. Uh, mate, thanks for your time. Congratulations Pleasure. on the film, These Final Hours. It's a ripper. But before we get into that, on to more important matters, yeah. I understand from a very reliable source that you... Barrett for the Hawthorne yeah. Yes, Club. come here, mate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> come on. Oh, sorry, Honey, yes. This is we great. are what? not here, Hey, 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 hey. Just a little bit of love for the yes, Hawks. Okay. Yes, yes. We had a big game this Saturday. So Ten yeah. seconds. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I got to go to the club yesterday and meet the, some of the boys, oh, little cool. Jack and that. So it was... Yeah, I've got my little Melbourne fix, a little home, mm. home away from home. Okay, yeah. now no, let's talk about the film. So just, yes. so just, just quickly on that. Uh, <laughs> so now, did you? So what happened? You went out to the club. Did yeah, you went out to the bit Mecca, of kick to kick? went to Mecca, a bit of kick to kick. Mecca. Yes, yeah, Waverley. Waverley. Waverley Bridge. Right, I don't think. I don't think Waverley's Mecca. <laughs> <laughs> so, and are you going to the game Saturday night? Um, no, I'll be happily watching it. Happily watching on TV. Oh, so right. Not okay. a real fan. No, I mean, by, I'm away. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's a mad. <laughs> I'm a mad He's a mad supporter. fan. Mm-hmm. Do you? Because I know you live in LA these days. Yep. Do you? Watch the games live. Yeah, on yeah, computer. finals. Yeah, yeah, we can watch it on the weekend, but the timing's a bit weird with week. But no. for the finals, it's perfect. Right. So finals time, it's like there's a couple, mm. of, a lot of bars now actually show the game. Mm. So yeah, it's fantastic. Cool. So ju- one last question. One last question. This one, hey, hey, hey! This is one, one last 2013 grand final. Where did you watch it? Um, at the Cock and Bull in California. Yeah. Me against 50 free mat, free air supporters. Yeah, nice. Uh, it was, yeah, it was nice at the end. Yeah. It was pretty, third quarter, my mates were like, you sure you want to be here? Oh, don't worry, there was only about 50 free mat supporters at the game. Too. <laughs> now, yeah. do you mind if we talk about the film? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry yeah, to yeah. bother you. But, so, uh, we'll get back to the Hawks. Yes, now, no, these final hours, I want to ask, it's a fantastic film. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Were you in Khan when you got the 10-minute standing ovation after they yeah. shot? Yeah, yeah. How wild was that? Wild. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just been an incredible ride from... You know, such an intense film, such a, you can imagine uh, the shooting schedule, how rigorous, how emotionally, physically draining it was. And five yeah. weeks, quick. Five weeks gruelling. And then, you know, you kind of sit back and go, oh, that was a really great experience. And then all of a sudden you're at Melbourne International Film Festival and you're, you're getting accolades. And then all of a sudden you're like, okay, cool. Well, when's everyone going to see this film? And then, wait, no, wait, Khan. <laughs> oh, great, bucket list, check. <laughs> and then you go to Khan and, and all the Frenchies get it. You know, yeah. and you're like, well, I really hope my own mob will get it. I really hope, you know, Australia will get it. Yeah. So we're just really anxious for Australia to see this film. You know, it's, know. it's our language, it's our backyard, it's uh, filmed in Western Australia. Um, incredible Australian actors, um, and a, a new, you know, a new, mach- new, a new engine room of filmmaking with the director Zach Hilditch and the producer Liz Kearney, and and we've got the support of Village Roadshow and the support of Screen Australia. Like That's people great. are supporting it because. Mm. The, these final hours, it touches you, you know, it's like, how do you yeah. speak? What's this life for human condition about? Well, well everyone, everyone, about yeah. everyone asks themselves that question, what yeah. would I do? And the film, you know, with the with the meteorite, et cetera, poses the question perfectly. Yep. You know exactly how long you've got. Yep. And in that world of Armageddon, it's feasible. Yep. You go, okay, well, that's later there, so this is happening. Mm. All right, we've yeah. got 12 hours, what do we do? Right, fight or flight, you know? Yeah, you yeah. try and make a bunker like some people, you're like, <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. going to get a submarine and put a tin around the house, <laughs> you know? <laughs> or some people are just like, well, I'm just going to drop some acid and see you later. Yeah. You know? What would you do in real life, do you think? What I kind of call my life now, the weekend or the holidays, it's like your family, your mates, your food, yeah. your, mm. the things that best... Re- represent us our life is our mirror mm. so you want to be around those that make you feel good you want to obviously be somewhat idyllic you know west oz is pretty beautiful to, you know, yeah yeah i ocean. was worried that you'd go and like sleep with somebody else and then <laughs> major right <go> passes <laughs> and you're like oh, oh no. i shouldn't have told you that <laughs> <laughs> that happened remember on seinfeld the plane was going to crash and the lane told kramer that she loved him and, That's then, right. the and then it doesn't <laughs> right it's straight out yeah. disaster yeah <laughs> Um, I would probably, I think, well, would there be a Hawthorne game on right. in the last 12 hours? Because you'd definitely go and see you definitely that. definitely go see the Hawthorne. Now, what I want to know, mate, <laughs> is, uh, do you, you've obviously seen the film. Yeah. How many times would you end up watching this film, do you think? Um, I, well, it's always weird to, one, to watch, because, mm. but I love watching this film because it's still, I'm still learning about the edit, I'm still learning about the performances, I'm still watching everything that has been done when I, when you know, in the, in the edit. Mm. Um, so yeah, I've probably watched it twice now, probably. Mm. Um, but once was at Khan, so that was like being in, like, the the you know it was like uh, being in the round in, in you know Shakespearean days. Yes. I mean, it was like oh, it goes the audience. You're like oh, I'm gonna get a croissant to the back of the head, maybe. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> watch out for those flying croissants. But um, it was just a lifelong dream and something I'm just gonna forever remember. And 
this the first time I saw it was at MIP. So right. once again, it was a great experience. But I really look forward to you know, a little gold class session one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. on just, your own. On my own, just really Ooh. watch it. Or sneak in and get, really get a sense of it. And really get a people. sense of it, yeah. Uh, now there's a, your relationship with uh, and Gary and Gary yeah. who plays Rose yeah. in the film is really cool you guys have this really sweet chemistry mm. uh, between you did you uh, what was the process like in her getting the job because you really hit it you really hit it off she had the job first so I was the next piece oh, of the puzzle because right. Zach had made a short film which she starred in so here it is and I seen the short film which is kind of like a proof of concept for these final hours it's called Transmission and I saw her and I was like, oh, "Can you please tell me she's in this? You've got her. Mm. And she was. So I was like mm. chuffed because yeah. she's everything you see on screen and more in real life. Mm. Um, and it was just great to have that passionate, bright-eyed, bushy-tailed energy around me because yeah. it made me remember why I'm still in the game and yeah. why I still yeah, yeah. rock up you know, every day. And you take the blows, you know, you, you, the rejections and, the, and, you know, life doesn't always go, but when you get... Mm. On this kind of ride like this, you don't want to get off the and ride. To make a good film, you've got to be like that, don't you? Excited. Yeah. And you've got to be. Well, that's yeah. life, as in life, you know. Yeah. I know a lot of people don't like talking about their early work. Yeah. But um, Wolf Creek scared the absolute bejesus out See, of me. See, I wouldn't watch that again. See, I wouldn't. Watch, <laughs> I, like I, I mean, <laughs> is it scary filming something that's scary? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the imagination is a powerful tool. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I, I couldn't go to, to the toilet on my oh. own. <laughs> <laughs> Even now, Bridge insists that I come here. But no, it's it's one thing. Yeah, horror film is one thing to you know. Mm. Um, it's very interesting doing the kind of like films that lend from life, incredible like Balibo or films that have a real you know story to Australian rules mm. those kind of films. And then you do horror films where you know the horror is human though. Yes. When the horror yeah. is something that's yeah. out of your hands, it's a little bit more. Existential. Mm. We can get, you know, we can have big can, philosophical conversation. Yeah. But when it's some bloke, you know, is it yeah. hitchhikers? It's like mm. that's a bit, it's a bit close to home. It's mm. a bit scary. Well, you know? it's it's real, and you feel the blows yeah. in those films. But also with those films, you see it unfold with your own eyes, and that's pretty much how it comes up on the screen. A lot of special effects in this film. Yeah. So what's that? Buzz like for you when you, for example, there's a, well, that the a great effects didn't ruin it. <laughs> I won't, I won't give anything away. But there's a great scene on the beach that, uh, when you see it in the film, it looks mm. amazing. Yeah. Right. What was that like for you? So you've obviously filmed it, however right. you filmed it. So it's such a good thing, Limo, because it's like you, you're doing it and you're like, oh, this film could be really bad because <laughs> it's like the first week of filming and you're literally on a beach in West Oz. The ocean's coming up. It's freezing. You're not really enjoying yourself after a couple of hours of. Getting rocked and like you know the the bulls the mechanical bulls yeah 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 imagine a really really shoddy version of that but you're on it and there's blokes just doing this and you're like imagine the world shaking it's like God this might not be as good as I was hoping you know <laughs> yeah. this is yeah. the budget for the special effects <laughs> yeah. but the magic is looks amazing the magic of filmmaking so yeah. hats off to the team because I was that was when I was a little bit oh you know mm. yeah oh no well you're a summary boy aren't mm -hmm. you yeah yeah so how did how did it all come about like one minute you're sort of at school in Sunbury, next minute, yeah, you know, um, overseas, you know. In yeah, just, uh, the, you know, it's like a, my dad always says, the harder, harder you work, the luckier you get. And so you didn't I'm get just, pinged from the street. They didn't say, oh, I like the look of him. No, no, um, I kind of wanted to teach literature and drama. I was going to be a teacher because mm. I thought at school, drama made life pretty easy. Like I got out a lot of school time and <laughs> either detention or to go do drama and I, I made the right choice. I was like, yeah, yeah. so and a lot of girls do drama when you're uh, you know, yeah, in the summer. And point. I, I, was, I was ahead of the game. So um, yeah, no, so it was just a very serendipitous uh, course of events and series of just mm. me following my passion, my love of storytelling and then my agent who has been with me since day one, um, Aaron Michael, we've had this mm. yeah, amazing little relationship. So. And we've just been doing the dance and, you know, mm -hmm. had a few big... Australian Rules was really what I cut my teeth on. So to do a book, Deadliana, mm -hmm. that was then into a film, I could tick all the boxes kind of thing, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then since then, I've just been extremely lucky to be living and travelling and experiencing the world to then hopefully translate that into my, oh, my, yeah. my yeah. art, so... Mum's proud. Oh, yeah, yeah, say, Mum. She, she misses me. No, everyone's down south coast now. We all live down south coast. Oh. So what? So when you go, so you've been in LA for a while. Let's say. Yep. You've uh, you've shot a film. You come home. You walk in the front door. What's Mum got waiting for you? Uh, homemade soup always. Oh. Home, homemade bread. 
a uh, big hug. Oh. Um, yeah, yeah. Do you ring her often? Oh yeah, Skype's amazing. So yeah. Because now my you know, brother's having family, we're all moving on, mm-hmm. you know, so yeah. we really appreciate the time we do have and it's really, it's a reminder, these kind of, this film was so important to me because it just hits the nail on the head about like, what's, what, what are we really doing? Like our final hours, literally we're doing, having him now. Mm. Yeah, but at yeah. least we're chuffed on life, at least we're really passionate, at least we're, you know, making stories that will hopefully have someone call their mum and say, I love you mum. Yeah. You know, and just yeah. that little, that little mm. reminder of like, it can be all, the rug can be pulled out from under your feet tomorrow. Yeah. Um, mm. And we just know that of recent events with the, the plane, oh, you know, we know yeah. that with just what goes on a daily basis. You enjoy so every minute, don't we you? have to, and we've just mm. to be reminded of it. And this is an Australian landscape, this is an Australian story, they're Australian characters, and they're all dealing with what a universal concept is of mm-hmm. the world could end tomorrow. So yeah. it's riveting stuff because I know people that move by it. Yes, you know? yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And there's a, and I've got to say, in this film, there's a really cool party scene yep. as well. Like, <laughs> it looked, the party you, Sometimes in films you look at parties, you go, no, I don't yeah. know. But other times you look at parties, you go, oh, I, I would go love there. to be at that party. <laughs> yeah. And that's one party where you think, oh, I wouldn't mind being at that party. Well, ACDC came from West. I mean, there are a lot of great, you know, rockers and a lot of, like, there's a lot of really interesting cats and cool dudes in, you know, West Oz, you know? Yes. Um, yeah. And they, would, they, don't, they don't mind working hard and they definitely don't mind playing hard. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Well, you, de- you definitely get a sense of that with the, yeah. Uh, yeah. With the party scene yeah. there. And uh, so, do you do you enjoy living in LA, or is it is it a sort of a work, more of a nah, work move for you? Yeah, no, nah, I'm I'm very stoked. I'm you know calling Earth my little spaceship for now, and yeah. really happy to be you know just going across the pond as much as possible. Do you muck around with Aussies in LA, or? Uh, my best mate since I was twelve lives there, Mark wow. O'Reilly of the O'Reillys. Yes, very lucky. <laughs> of the O'Reillys. Of the O'Reillys. My yin to my yang. Did you get um, your parents say, do you know Marco O'Reilly? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yes, I'm very blessed to kind of have a lot of my beautiful mates living with me over in California. Yeah, right. Um, and doing their own respective jobs in IT and, um, you know, what's, that, what's over. Did you say respect, respectable respect, jobs? Respect, or respect? Well, respective. <laughs> <laughs> they are probably a bit more respectable than some of my other mates' jobs. Yeah. Um, but no, so I've been just really, really, really stoked to enjoy the Californian summers, come home for our summers. Well, and sounds like a drag, this yeah. whole life of yours. Yeah. It? Yeah, it's well, I was when it was 50 cents for the dollar. Yeah. Right? It wasn't always yeah, pretty, yeah, yeah. All right? yeah. but now these trade dollars so good, it's a, a whole different... Well, yeah. look, good luck with the film, because it really is fantastic, and it's mm. so great to have an Australian film. Um, and this is... Well, this is a dead set ripper. Yeah. I mean, a 10 minute standing ovation at Khan yeah. is as good a review as a film is going to get. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, we totally recommend that people see these final hours. It's mm-hmm. a ripper. Nathan Phillips, thank you. Yeah, thanks, time. guys. And go, go the Hawks! Hawks. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs>